we figured out how to use rainwater for everything. We'll show you exactly how we do it and you'll be amazed at how easy it is. Rainwater harvesting begins right here on the roof of our house. It's just amazing. We have aluminum gutters and they all lead to downspouts that head to a tank on each of the four corners. So the water directly from our downspouts first goes through a, what's called a leaf catcher. Now this is an ingenious device. It's pretty simple in design, but it prevents a lot of large scale material that might blow in or be trapped on the roof from going into your rain tank. It's a screen at an angle. It's removable for cleaning and then it just snaps right back on in place. This is our first line of defense for keeping our water pure. Once our rainwater passes through the leaf catcher, it enters what we call a first flush system. Essentially, the water first comes down this tube, which I've cut it to a length to hold approximately five gallons. Basically, the first five gallons that wash off the roof are diverted, and this allows for a cleaning of any debris, bird poop or pollen or anything that may have accumulated on the roof. There's a, a plastic ball inside this tube. As the water comes down off the gutter, it'll go through here first. That ball floats up on the inside until the water gets up to here and then it seals it off and then the water gets diverted automatically then to go down to our underground tank in this case. So you might wonder, well, what happens to that first five gallons? Well, it gets put to good use it actually gets diverted out to the garden. So it trickles down through this hose. And there's basically a screen in here and a filter that we have to clean every now and then. So I'm gonna pull that filter out. Whoa, yes. So that was totally clogged. This is long overdue for a cleaning. This hole controls the rate of drip. So it, you want this hole to be small so it's a slow drip so that the water has a chance to fill up and then the following rainwater will be, get diverted. These first flush units come with several different size washers so that you can adjust the rate yourself. That ball is right in there, I can feel it. So this filter pushes up on that ball and then this nice fitting holds everything in place. When Nora built this house almost 30 years ago, she was required to put in two underground cisterns. These are large concrete tanks. They spread out in each direction. They hold 1,250 gallons apiece for a total of 2,500 gallons right here underground. The water from just one of our four gutters goes into here. With a good rainstorm, we can collect the full 2,500 gallons very quickly. It's amazing how much water you can collect on a roof. Here, just one inch of rain gets us over 1,800 gallons. And during the rainy season, we can have easily storms and events where we get five inches of rain. So our tanks overflow over and over and over again. It's an abundance of water. And it normally lasts us almost all year long. Gratitude to the rain. When we first started to collect rainwater, we went out and bought these kind of expensive rain barrels off of Amazon. I think this one holds 40 gallons and we have a taller one that holds 80 gallons. These rain barrels were overflowing with such an abundance of water, we quickly realized we had to move up to a bigger tank. This bad boy is our first above ground serious water tank that we got. It holds 1,700 gallons. We had to bring it here on a boat trailer. It was a lot of fun. Anchored down into concrete with hurricane stays, just in case it tries to float away. It's anchored at three points around the circumference. After the first flush, the water comes right on down and enters the tanks right at the top. Now there's a third filter right in here. It's another particle filter. So we're gonna clean that, see how that looks. So I leave these top pipes loose so they can come off pretty easily and provide access. You can see that the tank is completely full. So again, that's a pretty fine mesh particle filter. We're going to go rinse this off and I'll be back to put it in place. Screen's all clean. It just pops right back in. Slips 
right back in place. So now we're ready for collection. Of course, the tank is full. And the one thing that I need to add to these that I haven't done, it would be great to have an overflow pipe that redirects this water back out to the garden. I just haven't gotten there yet. Once we saw how quickly our 1700 gallon tank was filling up and then overflowing, we went ahead and got this bad boy, a 2300 gallon tank. Between this and the other tank provides ample water for us to use through most of the dry season, if not all of it, depending on the year. This past two years, we got all the way through. Henrietta and I are gonna show you how we've plumbed these up. Come on in the back. I've used standard one and a half inch PVC piping. Nicely fit the supplied outlets that came with the tank. On each tank, I have the ability to turn them on or off so I can control where our waters come from. But all the tanks are plumbed together at the bottom through this trunk line, which goes off to the other tank. So that makes it so as we draw the water down, if I have both tanks turned on, it'll draw them both down equally. It's a fairly handy feature. This is our rural pump system, solar water pump. This baby's awesome. In fact, we like it so much, we got a second one for our off-grid workshop. Input here is hooked to the rain tanks. It gets pressurized. This is an on-demand pump. No tanks, nothing. It just fires up and it's whisper quiet. We love how quiet this pump is. We don't hear it upstairs at all. Water comes up through here, through our two eye spring filters. This one's a particle filter fine mesh. And this one's an activated charcoal filter, providing us with really nice clean water for all of our uses. Now, for the water that we drink, we added a uh, Berkey water filter. I'll show you that next. <laughs> this is the final stage of filtration for our rainwater harvesting system. The water that we drink comes out of uh, Berkey filters. It's a pretty simple device. These are ceramic filters. They can handle bacteria and all kinds of toxins, serious toxins. You could actually pour pond scum in here and get crystal pure water to drink afterward. It's simply gravity fed, goes down into this lower chamber and you have a spigot. There are other options. You can get an ultraviolet system that you could put right into your plumbing here which will zap the bacteria. To me, that was just one more thing that I would have to maintain, provide power to, and probably buy parts for down the line. So we decided to keep it simple. We have these Berkey filters in all of our places where we do food prep. We're getting ready to bring this camping with us in our off-grid overland camper. Water is so expensive and it's full of chemicals and it doesn't even meet EPA standards. Yet, water is free when it falls from the sky.